A solitary queen carries the crown to a new land. Hello, everybody. My name is Bear, and this is a new minimalist strategy game by Noeo and Licorice. It's called Kingdom. And I really, really like it. That's also one of my favorite title cards I've ever seen. So I had to give it its moment in the spotlight. So the entire appeal to this game is made very clear early on. We're gonna see it right now, in fact. As we're walking along as the lone queen slash princess in a desolate land, requiring some gold coins along the way. I'm gonna do a couple of wandering nomads or something. We can recruit them using the gold that we've accrued. We can also use that gold to buy things like bows, hammers, and even invest in construction of new buildings and such. And that is pretty much it. But immediately, just based off of that alone, I was drawn in. So as you can see, we've given our newest recruit here a bow, and he's immediately using that to try to hunt down the animals around here and gain some more wealth that way. So it's all about this accrual of wealth, building up a better campsite, eventually expanding that to some sort of homestead, to a village, into, you know, a proper kingdom. And this is, I mean, it seems ridiculous to think this, but this basically, as far as I can tell so far, is the entire game. But it's extremely captivating. So we're going to progress on, and we're going to see how far we can really take this, because I... I've played it for about 45 minutes or so, and I couldn't stop. The only reason I stopped myself was to, to decide, okay, I need to stop myself right now so that anything beyond this point still remains a mystery to me. I found a few interesting things, and I don't want to spoil anything right out of the gate. But it is, it is going to be a lot of fun. I, get, I can only promise you that. I can't even say too much. I can only say, I think we're all going to thoroughly enjoy some kingdom. And what's not to enjoy? The parallax scrolling, the beautiful 2D art. This was a Flash game, actually, a couple of years ago, and it did really, really well, so much so that they decided to make a full-fledged thing out of it. With the help of publisher Raw Fury, they've got this from incredible idea, executed well in a Flash game, to fully fleshed out Steam release. So, of course, apart from just giving your uh, giving your crew some gold coins you do actually have to continually employ them by the way they'll wander off and get lost if you don't give them the the tools or the jobs they need to continue being productive but we will run out of money here and it's not likely that we're going to be making too much just based off of the people that we have right now so it will bode well for us to go out and explore and wander around a bit and see what else is going on. I'd like to have one more coin, though, to be able to give this guy a bow. Let's see if maybe he's got something before we take off. Exploring, of course, holds its own tricks and treachery. If we wander out too far from our safe haven, we could get into a, a spot of bother. I'm gonna wait for one more coin here, though. I don't want to leave without this guy having at least one task, so let's see if I can find something. And as far as I can tell, I don't really have much I can do directly to impact anything. As this quote-unquote main character, I'm kind of- Oh god, okay, there we go. I was gonna say though, as the- as the main character, you're kind of limited to just... ...letting your, uh, letting your peons do the work for you. So as you can see, we built up a tiny little wall here, and we only have one guy with a bow, unfortunately. But luckily, he did manage to land that shot. And I can't really interact with those enemies directly. So this is really, uh, looking kind of dangerous for us, actually. I want to make sure that I get a second bow whipped up as soon as I can. And there's another threat on the other side as well, so yeah, it's clear... ...clear to me now that I may have goofed up in giving so many hammers away early on. I, I really need to bolster up the defenses immediately. It does not take pity on you. This, this is going to wreck us if I don't do something soon, so here we go. Let's get a couple more bows. Let's go ahead and make two of them, actually, just to be a little safer. Those treasure chests will pop up every now and then, as well, by the way. Just give you a little bit more of a gold boost. 
And there's the music, of course, as well. Very fitting. Sets the atmosphere quite nicely. But it's just so easy to get sunk into this game and lost and just want to make progress forever. So I'm going to do that because it seems like a really good idea. It's one of those simple tower defense style games where there's so many minute rewards along the way that make it so satisfying to just get every single little bit of progress. You keep building and building and I'm really looking forward to the idea of expanding out into different settlements around the area. There's a lot of possibilities here and I admittedly don't know what many of those are, but... I am absolutely hooked to find out. Now let's see here, so we've got... Looks like this guy needs another coin, there we go, he needs another task as well. Let's go ahead and give him another bow. And they did construct an outlook here as well, which as you can see now... Now that this exists, we uh, have the capability to upgrade it. The same goes for this wall right here. For example, if I spend the three coins necessary to upgrade that, our little engineers will come wandering around. Depending on how many of them we've got, they'll be able to construct it more quickly, I imagine. And this should turn into a stone wall. Which is going to be a lot more effective at keeping the... Uh, the faceless monsters at bay. Oh, just kidding. We're actually upgrading to a spiked wall now. Okay, so we're not quite we're not quite at that advancement of technology yet. It does progress fairly quickly though. I will say within the 45 minutes or so that I managed to play myself, I think I got to day 8 or 9 or something like that. Maybe a few days beyond that, and I managed to get a pretty good-looking settlement going. I, I think I may have had a little bit of beginner's luck because I wasn't 100% sure of what I was doing a good, por a good part of the time, but it worked out pretty well and it was really satisfying. Every single time I was able to make progress, I, I saw, you know, it was a very gratifying visual display and everything just felt good as it was happening. Let's get a couple more recruits here. So we don't want to recruit over eagerly. It is nice to have a whole bunch of people early on to be able to get some good construction going and have a few archers for defense, but do keep in mind, as I mentioned before, we do have to keep those people on employ if we want to uh, if we want to keep them around. So we're going to make sure that we've got some money in the coffers for that particular purpose. Let's see if we can't. Uh, might consider, let's get one more bow, or actually we've got another bow there already, but I believe yeah, he's gonna grab that. So let's get one more with the two coins we've got. And it looks like we're gonna pay it out a little bit here too. So the, the recruits here, they all understand this is, this is all going toward a greater good, so they're more than willing to put back what they've earned into the, the main pot, if you will. Oh boy, and here comes another enemy. Alright, so we want to hang out behind our wall just to make sure we're not getting Picked off by the little demon here. There he goes. Okay. The wall holds strong. Looks like we're going to be doing okay. I wonder if they'll go for that rabbit. This is another game you can't let Wife Taffy know I'm playing, by the way. She will not have it. Those rabbits are precious. Gonna play a little safer here now. In fact, I'm thinking I probably want to reconstruct a wall. We're not really looking like we're uh, that well protected on this left side, and this needs to be built up too, I think. So let's use the next three coins we grab and uh, try to construct proper defenses on the left side. Oh, beautiful. Okay, there we go. That might even do it, in fact. That might very well be enough. Let's find out. There's one, two, three. That should build the outpost, and then we can build an upgrade to this fence. There we go. Very good. Nice. Alright, five coins here would not be a bad investment either. Oh, we are just off though. I love that little effect as well. If you just happen to fall short. Plops down right in front of your face. Oh, here we have our first uh, main upgrade actually. Let's go ahead and do this. And there it is. Another flag to show our virtues. It is uh, a bear doing the Michael Jackson thriller dance. Seems right to me. That seems appropriate for what we're doing. Not a bad start here, though, so far. Managing to keep most people occupied. This guy apparently is doing really well, my goodness. 
Do I need to... Uh, I don't know if I need to grab more nomads just yet. Hold on a second. Let's go back. Reevaluate things here. Grab that loan coin that he apparently just grabbed. There we go. Thank you. Trying to sneak money away from me. No thanks. Let's go ahead and build this out a little. I think we can afford to... Uh, well, hold on here. We've got a couple of archers. We got, uh, we got some engineers that are looking for a task. So maybe... Can we upgrade the main area again? Probably not. Let's go for some wall or outpost upgrades. Yeah, I think it's going to be this. Let's keep ourselves pretty well defended. And I'll go ahead and drop another bow here too. And we've only got two or three more coins. So I believe both of these guys will probably take position in the outpost. If I had to make a guess. Yeah, you know what? I think I can grab at least one or two of these. See how they feel about changing their allegiances. We're keeping things pretty uh, pretty simple thus far. It, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go wander around just a bit and see if I can't find anything interesting. We've got defenses set up pretty well in case I need to make a quick retreat. Let's go ahead and wander around a bit. That's a nice pickup there as well. So with the horse, you have this gallop, of course, to be able to move around quite a bit more quickly, but it is a finite amount of stamina that the horse has. It's an invisible bar, but it does exist. If I were to run all the way out here and not stop, for example, he would uh, start huffing and puffing, so... I want to make sure I don't do that, because it's very likely that I'm going to have to turn around really quickly if I end up running into an enemy. Because sadly... Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. So what they do is... Uh, they latch on to you and they just start grabbing your gold and they can just wreak havoc on your face very easily, so... Early on, it's gonna be in your best interest to completely avoid them. Which is why we are... Okay, so yeah, there you see, now the horse is... Starting to run low on stamina, starting to breathe a little heavier. Alright, we're back to the safety of the, the village again. And they are paying out and due dividends, look at this. Oh, and there he comes, okay, yes, perfect, so now... We see the defenses taking place again. It's, uh... It's very critical to get these locked down early on here. I, uh, I made that mistake one or two times of not... Not thinking that the, the outposts would be that necessary. What do we even call those? It's, just, it's more like a watchtower, isn't it? Yeah. Seems a, a more apt description. Alright, we are looking pretty good now. It's only day four and we've got a pretty full coin purse, so let's look at some upgrades that we can make here. We might need a few more people. Let's, let's hang out for just a minute here. Because we can upgrade this. Tell you what, let's go ahead and make this one happen. Because I think we know we want to do that. Can't upgrade the campfire again just yet. We could go... we could go wander around a little bit. We got plenty of money and it is nice to be able to bring a whole bunch of cash out with you into the great unknown as well. Gives you, of course, a lot of opportunities to recruit new followers as well as uh, some potential goodies that you can only really find out in the wilderness. So let's go have a look. The daylight cycle is a little confusing sometimes as well. It seems like it's kind of over-eager to shift into the darkness every now and again. Still doing pretty damn good. I want to take it nice and easy, because you never know what you're going to run into out here. We're finding a lot of people, which means I kind of want to go back and make sure that... Oh, hold on, though. We got ourselves a... A caravan. Buddy! Oh, God. Okay. That is not anything we want to be really nearby. That is... a An evil portal into the unknown. Okay, we got to get out of here. Oh, that's bad. I really hope that merchant doesn't get taken out. We're gonna try to go slowly. Okay, here he comes. Yep, there goes... <laughs> there goes my two new recruits. Oh, jeez. That was really bad. Okay, I've got way too much money to get taken down by this enemy, so I need to get moving quick. I don't think he's still chasing me, though. In fact, yeah, I think we're safe. Oh, that's a bummer, though. That means I believe we lost out on those two new members of our crew. Oh, well. We got quite a few of them, actually. So tell you what, let's maybe start making some upgrades now. Start building out and expanding a little. Not nearly as much money now. Uh, I don't think I need to make any more. Well, you know what? I think we got a few people without tasks. So let's go ahead and give you a bow. We'll make one more hammer and then I think that'll be... That'll be okay for now. I feel good though. 
My god, these archers are doing well. I don't even know where they're finding all this money. It's great. All right, I think we can stand up great again, actually. Yeah, baby. All right. Fence time. A momentous occasion in the history of the kingdom. We decided that one pike fence on either side, when we could be <laughs> surrounded from all. It might be better to uh, build and expand that out a little bit. It feels so much more like a fortress now too, doesn't it? With just that little aesthetic change. Now, now we lock this down and think, yeah, this is, this is home base. The motherland. This is what we swore to protect. And here comes our merchant. Untouched and unscathed, beautiful. The lighting effects are quite good as well. It really just looks beautiful, and I mean, as somebody who admittedly recently said they were getting a little bit tired of pixel art, I think this one may have brought back the love of that for me. Because it looks gorgeous. Alright, we're not making too much now, and sadly we're still getting attacked here, but we do have plenty of defensive measures, so I think we'll be just fine. That angle we've got from the, uh, from the watchtower as well is... I think it'll prove quite formidable for any opponents coming our way. We can't upgrade again, my goodness. All right, well, apparently we're, we are making some good progress here. So now we've built a whole new uh, building here, and this is going to be the one that allows us to construct scythes. Or at least what look like scythes. I'm not 100% sure what to do with those yet, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. I think I might make one, actually. Oh, we only got three coins. All right. Once we get five coins, we'll go ahead and make one of those. So I think we've got a couple of people that are looking for a job right now, too. Give me that. There we go. Thank you. Good. All right. One of these. See how we fare with that. Did get a treasure chest showing up in the middle. Big money. Eh, that's not bad. All right, we're doing good. We are doing good. Let's see how the left side fares today. Might be time to start uh, knocking down some trees, too, thinking about expanding in the near future. In fact, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Knocking down these trees does give you more resources as well. Although it comes with the moral quandary of whether or not expanding and destroying Mother Earth is worthwhile to you. But we don't have to think about that. Oh, thank you. Thank you for murdering a small rodent and giving me the money for it. Let's head out to the right one last time here. Because I think I'm willing to, uh, to push my luck. I'm not 100% sure either what the merchant does for us. I think maybe that's... I'm trying to figure out if there's certain requirements we have to meet before we can expand in certain ways. I feel like that might be the case, but I haven't really picked up on exactly what that means yet. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it good in grabbing two more recruits here. Recruits here. We haven't had a ton of luck going over to that right side, so let's maybe hold off just a second. We're going to start marking these for destruction as well. Because I would like to garner the resources from them. Oh, thank you, buddy. Alright. We'll make one more scythe. I feel like those are going to be pretty handy... ...in the near future. Maybe that's just my wishful thinking. I wonder if they acquired all the gold from the trees already. Looks like they might have. Okay, that- Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is looking like a pretty solid expansion area, too. I think we've got the money for it. Although I could spend that on something else closer to the campsite. In fact, let's go ahead and just do this now. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's looking better. Now we've got a, a truly solid foundation. Look at that. Excellent. The church house, the staple of any proper settlement at this stage of evolution. So we've got a few new areas we can uh, try to start constructing out here. In fact, w the fact that we still have folks wielding hammers leads me to believe that it's not a bad idea to start these expansions off already. This music is starting to freak me out, though. I'm thinking maybe we got some uh, defensive measures we need to take pretty soon. Let's check in on the income from the right side, see if these guys have gotten anything. We have two levels of protection now, it seems, on this side, so that's nice. I think that's what we're missing out on on the other end. Alright, come on back, fellas. Looks like they probably got 
through with the, uh, the log chopping on the other side. That's nice. Provide us a little bit more. Really sounds like I need to get worried about, uh, protection in a moment's time here, though. I think... I think we need to use a couple more bows. I'm getting a little freaked out. Let's see here. Can we upgrade this wall? We can't. We can't upgrade this outpost either, so this is, uh... This is what we got for now. Oh, here they come. Oh my god. Wow. What is that? Bows! Bows for everyone! Everybody gets a weapon! Come on now, folks! Time to take them down! Oh my god. Oh my god. Please murder them. Wow. That was a lot of enemies. Holy shit. Alright, we gotta start- Ooh, we got a lot of money there, too. Wow, we need to do some reconstruction. Jeez, that was... That was a heavy onslaught. Got through our first line, like, with no trouble at all. Did we lose anybody there? I feel like we might have lost some folks. I'm getting some money back, though. Oh, come on, get him. Get him! He's just a little bunny! Ah, you suck. Alright, well... That was devastating! Let's see if we can pick up from it! Thank you very much for watching this episode of Kingdom. I hope you guys are enjoying it, and let me know if you're enjoying it as well. Leave a like on the video, too. Appreciate that a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!